welcome back to the channel guys and today we reveal the results of growing plants under LED lights and comparing it against um, plants grown in a sunny windowsill so a little bit of background is I've bought um, some cob LED lights and I plan to use them in this cool terrarium that I got um, to grow my coniferous plants in but before I sacrificed my poor plants I wanted to test that the lights would actually be sufficient to grow them um, so what I did is I grew some lentil plants until they were about this big so maybe five centimeters tall and uh, from then on, so they were grown over here in this windowsill together and when they were about five centimeters tall I took one of them and placed it in a sunny window, windowsill where I know my uh, carnivorous plants thrive and the other one was placed under these LED lights so on the right here I have a 30 watt driverless cob that I bought from seller YXO Yuxinau uh, so this is the blue and red spectrum, which is what the plants need to photosynthesize. Um, but I've also done some research and found that, uh, that the plants, although blue and red is what's needed to photosynthesize, there are other compounds in the leaf which need the other spectrum of light, so your yellows and oranges. Um, such as beta carotenes and stuff uh, which are necessary for the plant health and for this reason I've also grown in conjunction with my CLU so this is a Citizen CLU 048 3500 Kelvin white light so this is a full sort of spectrum white light uh, that's a 100 watt chip but I'm running it at 50 watts using this cheap LED driver so that chip cost about 13 pounds and this thing cost about six pounds so altogether it's around 20 pounds for those two and this chip cost me two pounds <laughs> delivered from China so that's 80 watts total on the plant and the plant was grown at around 30 centimeters um, high to the pot uh, so let's get right to the results so you can see from about here onwards is the plant grown under the sunny windowsill and you can see that the plants grew very tall actually so tall in fact that they cannot support their own weight anymore um, and we compare it to the one grown under LED lights and these are quite a different story um, so when you compare the lengths of these plants you can see that uh, let me try hold that up that these plants grown under natural lights are significantly taller um, in fact we can actually measure it so so they were about let's see let's stretch this guy out uh, so these guys were about I don't know five centimeters uh, when they were together they were about this tall uh, when we started when they were both receiving just natural light from the window here and then this one was moved to the sunny windowsill and this one was grown under the LED lights and you can see there's quite a difference so the one grown in natural light has grown sort of very long and elongated whereas the one so all of this growth here under the LED lights it seems to grow very compact um, so the nodal separation is quite small the foliage at the top is much denser than, than that of the one grown in natural light so this is kind of a result I was expecting in that 
the LED lights have a very high spectrum of red, so this is a 3500 Kelvin, which is predominantly towards the red side of white, and this is the blue and red, um, which is known to be very high in red, and you can see the difference. Uh, these stalks are a little bit redder, that's difficult to see in the video, and these are pale green. And these stalks feel a little bit stronger, I think. These ones feel slightly more softer to the touch, which is probably why they can't hold their own weight as well. Uh, so you can see that actually under the LED lights, this kind of growth, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. It's very dense. There's a lot of mass. The plant still looks healthy. So it seems 80 watts. It produces a different kind of growth, but nevertheless, the plants did grow, and, and I'm pretty pleased with the results. So that was the combination of 80 watts of white and blue and red at a, separate, at a distance of around 30 centimeters to the bottom of the pot. Uh, just give you an indication of how that looked, so let's switch that on. There you go, this is how the plant is growing. You can check out my other video to talk about how I made these. Um, let's switch that off because that's quite noisy. So they were running on a 12 hour photo period um, per day. And these ones obviously just in natural windowsill sunlight. Um, there were a couple of sort of cloudy days and some very bright days. Um, and the growth, like I said, so from about five centimeters, uh, all of this growth here is about five days worth of growth. So we compare here. So the plants were about that big and all of this growth up here, this is within five days of running under the LED light. And I'm pretty pleased with that. So <clears throat> uh, the next experiment is to take our little lentil seeds and I'm gonna repeat the experiment, but this time I'm going to have two separate chambers. So one is gonna be running just my uh, CLU-048, the 50 watt white light. And then in the other one, we're going to match the power and use this 50 watt uh, dual spectrum um, LED chip from China, from the AliExpress seller YXO Yuxinao. There we go. And I'm going to do a side by side comparison of the same power um, running in two separate growth chambers. So separate them out with these boards and just have them grown individually so you can see the results. But um, yeah, from my first experiment it seems that running 80 watts of LED light at a distance of around 30 centimeters is plenty sufficient to grow healthy lentils. And a very nice, dense growth on the lentils. Um, so tune in in about a week's time I'm gonna put this experiment to the test and we'll see the results of running just pure blue and red spectrum versus a white spectrum light. Cool.